loves. So I'm back again talking about the five love languages by Gary Chapman. And this is our opportunity to talk about some of the tips and tricks, some of the things that make these a little bit easier for us when trying to express love to our partners, to our close friends, and to other people that we care about in our lives. If you are still unsure about what the love languages are and need a further explanation, I highly encourage you to check out some of the previous videos on this topic. Okay, so tips and tricks. So first off, we have words of affirmation. So um, that is when you like sharing compliments and things like that with your partner. And a gratitude journal could help with that a lot. Just simply noting throughout the day when your partner does something that's really cool or when you just are like remembering something really awesome about your partner or some way that you felt when you were with them. I encourage you to just take a note of that, you know, make a little uh, note for yourself. You can do this in like an actual physical paper journal, or you can simply like have a little notepad on your phone where you make notes of some of these things. And then, you know, when the opportunity arises, when you have a special moment with a partner while you're in person, or perhaps when you're writing a birthday card, you kind of have some of these things in your pocket and you're ready to just like whip it out and just share and express some of your love in that way. And it can just be a sweet, beautiful little gift for your partner in that way. Cool. Quality time. So uh, some people really enjoy spending that intentional time with their partner or with a loved one. If you know someone who's really into quality time, you might want to check in and see what some of the activities are that they enjoy doing the most. You know, notice some of the things that they really seem to like. Um, notice some of the activities they do alone and maybe offer to do some of those with them because they might really enjoy it if you go to the grocery store with them perhaps. And while that for some won't count as quality time for others that might be a beautiful opportunity for y'all to connect and for you to you know kind of plan your lives um in terms of dinners at least that week together and then you could cook uh, and have some um some times where you are actually cooking together which might feel like quality time for them as well so you know it kind of depends on the person but yeah check in figure out what some of those activities are and your partner might really appreciate that gifts I would highly encourage you to ask your partner um, what some of like their best gifts were that they ever received. You know, what are some of the favorites that make the top of the list so that you can get a better idea of what uh, the kind of gifts they enjoy, you know, in terms of the practical things, like literally th literal things that they received and also some of the meanings behind it because it might be something really small, like a tiny little trinket or a, a single flower that they received on a day when they were just really struggling and having a hard day and it might be about feeling seen in that moment or it might be about that per person noticing something about them and choosing to give them a gift that really reflected their personality it really depends on the person so I encourage you to ask them about that so that you can get a clearer idea about what it is that they value and also that's another opportunity to connect and learn something new about your partner so that's pretty fun right all right acts of service um so acts of service are often things like chores you know things that we do that are in support of our partner or that help to maintain you know the world around us or around and or around them um and so you might want to ask, you know, your good part, good friend, your partner or whatever, uh, if they appreciate some of the things that you're currently doing. So it's see if that kind of already resonates with them. And then you might want to do more of that type of thing. Or if it doesn't, maybe you do less of that type of thing and find something new uh, that, that might be helpful. You can also ask them if there are ways that they would like to feel more supported or things that they, they need in order to, you know, to to uh, be more productive, be more happy, feel more at ease, whatever the case may be. Um, physical touch. So physical touch, hugs, uh, kisses, love, hand holding, all that type of stuff is really fun and it can feel extra special when it's done with a lot of intention. So um, one thing I like to do personally, um, not all the time, but when I have the space and think about it, is if I know that I'm about to share a magnificent hug with somebody, just kind of allowing myself to kind of relax and think about love, think about how special that person is to me, think about how much I care about them and then when I hug them bringing all of that intentionality all of those wonderful feelings to the hug so that 
it feels like this nice, wonderful, supportive space versus me wrapping them in my anxiety or my nervousness or whatever. And not that those hugs can't feel good too, but you know, hugs where the person's bringing the love can definitely feel extra special. And so that's something to think about in terms of that. Also in terms of intentionality, you can make sure that you are really, you know, being present when you are holding hands, for example, whenever possible, you might do things like eye gaze while holding hands or um, really you know, making sure that you're looking very directly and very intently into your partner or your lover's eyes or your close friend, whatever, um, that person's eyes while you are snuggling or while you are you know, um, sharing time together and things like that because that can take that touch to the next level. So that's something to play around with. See if you like it. See if it feels like too much for you or too much for your friend or whoever. Um, but yeah, those are things that you can try out and experiment with. And again, everybody's different. So you may notice some things that I hadn't thought about. You might find that none of these things work for you and that something very different works for you. If you do, please comment down below. If it works, great. And it's very helpful. Please comment down below. Either way, I would love to hear about it. I love, love, love hearing about love. You matter. You're important and you're wonderful. Thank you so much for being a part of this and have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye.